Okay, so the way that Hitchcock and Cronquist is organized in the family key is first we're going to key out big groups. So we have aquatic plants. We have we'll have other groups throughout here that deal with other uh, other types of organisms. One of the things I really like about Hitchcock and Cronquist is the um, presence of so many pictures. And so you can already tell that this is going to be for, you know, something close to our grasses group here. Um, but there are so many pictures in Hitchcock and Cronquist that it makes keying uh, a really nice process. And so you, you might go through and also go through and start labeling for yourself or flagging places where there are familiar groups like group three this is all of the gymnosperms or conifers and so you'll see our uh, our conifer families pinaceae cupressaceae taxaceae are coming out uh, right away there um, so for familiar groups you might go through and flag for yourself uh, dog ear the pages, uh, put little sticky notes so that you know um, those groups. Um, obviously, you don't have to determine if a plant is aquatic or not if you already know that it's a gymnosperm or conifer. So you can just go straight to that key, and then you could key out to the appropriate conifer family.